It's a beautiful morning. Looks like it's already afternoon. They got it! Gonna be late. Forgot my dad's bow in the mine. Forgot my glass bow at the camp. <sighs> Dad. I have a feeling every day is going to be a cold day up here. Scald. I wonder if he's already up making new friends, or if he waits to noon to make his whole town to hate him all over again. Well, I suppose I could pick up the pace, get the blood pumping a little bit, keep warm. Ah! The light is always reflecting off that thing. Man, to make it out of glass? It is pretty on the bay in the morning. Two days in a row. It's been a long time. I remember when they took you up here and put you on the pyre. I was kicking and screaming the whole time, bawling my eyes out, <laughs> punching them and cursing them. That priestess never should have told me that you were in the divine's hands. I've hated them ever since. Those days definitely weren't as beautiful as this one is. <laughs> I don't remember this hill being so steep, but I sure in the oblivion remember it. crazy, really. How big a part of my life you've been. You were only in it for a few years. I've had nightmares about that night every night since. Except last night. <laughs> every person in this town has nightmares except me when I come to it. I can still hear you yelling to defend us. I can still hear mom screaming as they took her through the woods. I wanted to come and tell you that you were always a good father to me. After you died, Scald, the Jarl here, put me in the carriage to Riften. I was brought to an orphanage and this woman, Vija, she took care of me. She was really nice. She's the one who told me that visiting you might help. Guess I should have come sooner. <laughs> I learned how to hunt. Vija taught me some restoration stuff too. <laughs> Maybe if I knew it back then. He's sitting here talking to you. Not a day gone, not existent past. I love you so much. <laughs> I miss you so much. A ghost on the sea of ghosts. <laughs> I hope you were proud of me, Dad. I've tried to be as good a man as I possibly could. I've come a long ways. I've got a long way to go. But I'll get there. Wherever it is I'm going, I'll get there. getting cold. I'm gonna sit closer to the fire for a minute. Plenty of wood here if it gets any colder. It's really good talking to you, Dad. It's pretty humbling looking out at the top of the world.
<sighs> Ugh, I fell asleep. Ugh, the snow stopped, but it's freezing. Look at all the workers down there. I remember the one time you took me to hunt orcas. Taught me how to skin them and take their meat and their blubber. Blubber. Maybe I'll check that tent out later too. Hunt some orcas. <sighs> it was good talking to you, Dad. I gotta go warm up. Get myself a bow. Freezing. Oh, my prints are still in the snow. <laughs> You take care, huh? I'll talk to you again soon. Let's get this day started. Now that it's already halfway over. <laughs> I hope Rusleif has that forge going at full force right now. Morning. Morning. Oh, that feels nice. Oh, that feels real nice. Warming up already. <laughs> Look at him go. That kid never stops. <sighs> hey, Rusleif. I swore. When I came up this way last night, I seen a chopping block. I need some wood. Snowberries. Aha! There it is. Oh! Someone's watching it. Um, excuse me there, ma'am. I work for the Wind Peak Inn. You should head on inside. Yeah, I know. I remember you from yesterday. I was hoping I could chop some of this wood here. I need to make a bow. Thoring runs the inn. Speak to him. Yeah, I rented the room from him last night. I'm sure he wouldn't care. I'll just cut a few pieces for myself. She's <laughs> going to go tell the innkeep. Better get my wooden be off. <sighs> That'll do it. Get out of here before he comes back and see if he really does mind. <laughs> Snowberries. How'd I miss those? <sighs> it's beautiful when it's warm. Hey, buddy. <laughs> it's horrible when it's cold. Sounds like they're working away. I wonder if I should... Hey, Rusliff, I'm just going to use your tanner rack if you don't mind. I actually... How are you doing today, Rusleif? Seems like no one is getting a decent night's rest in Dawnstar, stranger. Best buy your steel and move on. Yeah, I've heard that one. Uh, I don't know about steel, but what else do you got for sale? The finest weapons and armor. The sure is a nice bow. Better than I can make. Well, I don't have all that much coin, but maybe you could take what I have and I could trade you some stuff to make up for the rest? Yeah, that's fine. Thanks, man. Come back if you need steel. <laughs> Will do, buddy. Now, to put that firewood and the rest of these iron ingots that I have to use. Going to do some hunting today. The bow is light. Let's see how it draws. Good work, Rusliff. Really is better than I could do. <laughs> Golem made that glass bow for me. It's weird how he came out of nowhere and just spent a couple of weeks with me. That man sure could work glass, though. Battle mages. <laughs> I'll never understand them. Just happy he came when he did. Saved me from the pack of wolves. If I hadn't forgotten my father's bow in the mine when the raid happened, I wouldn't have had to worry about him saving me. It's funny how friends won't help you, but strangers will save your life. Go them. I wonder what he's doing these days. Horkers should be around here somewhere. Ah, there they are. Not the smartest creatures from what I remember. Let's see if I can catch them off guard. Come on. Bah. Got him. Not that time. 
Come on. Looks like they see me. Whoa, where'd you come from? Sorry, fellas. But I gotta eat. <clears throat> Without any coin left, your blubbering tusks are gonna do the job, I'm afraid. Hunt them baby horkers on the northern shores. <laughs> Not something I'd write home about <clears throat> if I had a home to write to. <laughs> ah, got to eat. Sorry, old boy. I really wish these things would kill you quicker. I feel horrible that you have to suffer through all this. One down. There it is. I really hate killing things if I don't have to. Time to cut this boy up. Blubber. Meat. Some tusks. Blubber. <laughs> Something about that word just... Ugh, I feel like I'm six again. Blubber, blubber, blubber. <laughs> All right. Got you guys taken care of. Isn't that tent somewhere? There it is. Let's see if anyone's home. Hello! Is anyone in there? I'm armed. I have a bow, and I'm ready to draw. Yeah. Doesn't look like it. I'm coming in. Guess not. Sweets and flowers and wine? <laughs> Wonder what you guys were doing in here. And an amulet of Mara. <laughs> no wondering about it. Someone was consummating their marriage. <laughs> they just left this place. Everyone up at Donstar loves to talk about Mara. Guess they ran out here for the evening and created another orphan to work the mines. <laughs> it's not like there's a place for me in town just yet. Don't want to keep buying a room every night. Always stay here. Even have a ready-made place for a fire. Even left some wood behind for me. It's getting cold again. At least I remembered to keep my helmet on this time. <laughs> my ears and nose don't feel like they're going to fall off. Suppose I should finish the hunting and... I really wish that kept me warmer. I'd have to light myself on fire for it to do so. <laughs> finish the hunting and sell this stuff. Yeah, I see him over there. Another side of the Hall of the Dead. Where they tried to save my father and couldn't. <sighs> it's a cold day to be in the boat, friend. Not sure you're gonna get any passengers today. <laughs> Crazy guy. We all have to make a living, right? Look at these two just patrolling the shores. Evening. Hello. Again. <laughs> Looks like he and I are in the same kind of rush this time. Yeah. All right, let's clear Donstar of Horkers for the time being and see what I can get for him. Looks like four of them. I hear some wolves off in the distance. Ha! Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's make this quick. Whew. Finally starting to get a little tired. Haven't eaten anything since... Ah, that snowberry pastry. Ah, 
Crustata, they called it. <sighs> Guys, don't look happy. One bite, that thing would rip you apart. Come on, guys, just go down. There we go. Really sorry about killing your papa. And your baby boy. Sorry, mama. I gotta eat. Gotta make a living. Gonna not freeze to death in the next couple of days. I need that blubber. <laughs> Give me that blubber. <laughs> oh, let's try to be adults about this, huh? Taking the life shouldn't be fun. Taking blubber should. <laughs> oh, I got my arrow back, too. Get that meat. Oh, I'm starting to get a stuffy nose. <sighs> That'll do it. Nern root. Haven't seen this stuff in a while. I bet that old lady will take it off my hands. Wow, it's beautiful. Frigid, but beautiful. Well, it's getting cold. Doesn't look like there's anything out there for me. Back to town. <sighs> Warm up a bit and see if the old lady will buy some of the stuff off me. Ooh. Cold just getting my toe in it. I can feel the water right through the boots. What is it? Yeah. Guard, what is it? Hey, watch out! Almost hit the kid! Imperials? You guys... Stupid war. That guy does have some nice... stuff. No one's looking. Be quick. No one's gonna care if I loot an Imperial but their own guard, maybe. Huh. Well, their demise was my fortune. It's funny how that works. I got so much stuff I can bend and carry it. Right next to Rustleaf. So much for being coinless. Hey, Rustleaf! Saren? Rustleff! There he is. Trying to sweep the snow off his deck again. It's just gonna snow again, buddy. There's no point in it. <laughs> My friend, I have some stuff to sell. How are ya? Seems like no one is getting a decent night's rest in Dawnstar, stranger. Best buy your steel and move on. You keep telling me that. I'm not going to get you that book if I find it. Got some stuff to trade and barter with you this time. The finest weapons and armor. Yes, they are. I have a feeling you may have made a couple of these pieces. I have some Donstar guard armor. Helmet. Some Imperial bracers that I bought from you. <laughs> War axe, why not? I think I'm going to keep that. Thanks, buddy. I think that'll do it. It's always a pleasure. Come back if you need steel. Oh, I shall. I'm just gonna change over by the forge if you don't mind. It's kinda cold. I'm gonna put this amulet on. Even though I don't really believe in these stupid amulets. You never know. Some good fur. That'll keep me warm. This guard armor is a lot better than my miner's rags. <laughs> That's for sure. Magical ring? Why not? Some true boots and some gloves. Leather and fur. And this bow is better than the one I bought. <laughs> Should have just waited. <sighs> you would think the guards would clean up the people they killed. Kids shouldn't have to see that crap. Well, 
Got some new gear. Not even much blood on it. Ugh, things are looking good. Let's go see if old lady Frida likes blubber. <laughs> blubber. The mortar and pestle makes potions, if you can't tell from the name. Just step up to the counter. We've met already, madam, and I'm already at the counter. I don't suppose that you would- No, I don't have anything for bad dreams. No, I- So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? <laughs> I am, actually, but I was hoping- You do want the tusks? I have a lot of blubber, and I have a lot of horker meat as well that's just going to go to waste. Really? I don't even have to ask you stuff. You're ready to take it. Oh, I don't need the magic potions. I think I'll keep the stand with a potion, though. Never know when a young man will need it, eh? <laughs> I think that'll do it, miss. Thank you, Frida. Let me know if you come down with the raffles. I wasn't serious about using the stand with a potion for... I should really help you get that ring. Thanks, Frida. It's always nice talking with you. Hey, would you mind if I use your alchemy lab? I got a lot of these snowberries and I was going to make some milk out of them, but those waters are cold, man. Golem taught me how to make this stuff, too. Golem, he's a friend of mine I met in the wilds. He stayed at my camp. He actually helped me build my camp. This is the one potion I know how to make. Keeps you warm in the water for quite some time. I just haven't had the chance to use one yet. <coughs> Thanks again, Frida. Take care. Talking that poor old lady's ear off. I do that when I'm nervous. She sounds sick. I really need to find that ring for her. If she wasn't buying all my stuff, I wouldn't have anything. Well, not much. I can't go out there like this. I have a bow, but my fingers are freezing even with these gloves on. I won't be able to draw quick. If I had some help, there has to be a court wizard at the Jarls. All this talk about Golem and... Boy, it's funny how things come into your mind. And that woman just doesn't stop. That poor guy. Well, not my business. Can't believe I'm coming back to see this guy. <laughs> Must have been from when you guys were shooting the Imperials. Steal, huh? Don't mind if I do. Um, you weren't gonna take this now. Thank you. Remember the last time I was in this place. Steward? Hey there, my friend. I don't suppose there's a uh divines I'm tired. Oh. Safety? Should get some rest then, buddy. Handle the town safety? What is this about, Yon? You keep pledging more and more of our guard to the front lines. The way this is going, we won't be able to defend our own borders. The court was a the best place for our men is driving the Imperials back. Huh. I will ensure that even the zone the house, Carl. Every opportunity doesn't like this guy. Glory I'm just gonna so have no home to return to. Drop back. To our commitments to the front Try to not be I'm seen. Sure safe. I won't have you rob our soldiers yeah. of their chance to drive um, out the Empire. Hello there, madam. I'm done discussing this. Um, ma'am. If you're here about the nightmares, I'm afraid my pleas to the College of Winterhold go unheard. Um, no, actually. Are you the court wizard? I was hoping you if would- If you could call it that. The Jarl can make all the demands in the world. I'm not setting one foot on that battlefield. The battlefield? I fought in the Great War. I cut enough young lives short. I'm not going to do it again. I'm sorry. Great war. What great war are you talking about? I don't blame you at all. I was just curious. About 30 years ago, the Aldermary Dominion invaded the Empire. It was a surprise attack. Caught everyone off guard. They ended up sacking the Imperial City. I was there. Blasting apart young elven men and women with fireballs and lightning bolts. By Akatosh. All the blood, the smell of flesh burned and pulled apart by magic. I never want to do that to another soul, ever again. You're an honorable woman, my lady. I apologize for bringing up the past. I was actually just coming to see you, hoping that you may have a book. An old friend of mine, Golem, he taught me the ways of conjuration. I just never used it. It was more his thing than mine. Huh. I had you figured for a mage. Mage, I no. I think you'll appreciate this. 
I'm just hoping for a companion on the road to help out old lady Frida. I'm not sure that I could figure out some of these books in my entire lifetime, but... Conjure Wolf? This doesn't seem so... difficult. Not an entire hunting pack. I'm lucky I can start a campfire, but... A single wolf, maybe? I know conjuration is much different than restoration and destruction, but... I'm sure that I could figure it out. My friend taught me, when you're conjuring something, it's best to allow yourself to be either total peace or enraged. Think of something you loved or someone you hate. I had this old dog, Maggie, for a little while. I think I might be able to pull off the wolf. So yeah, conjure wolf. I'll take it. Back to another fine day in Dawnstar. <laughs> yeah, seems like people aren't sleeping so well around here. Thank you for your time and the story. I wish you well. Scald. Woo! Oh, I'm not going out in this, am I? Looks like it's another night at the Wind Peak. I'm not even trying to make it back to that tent. You didn't even try to take this thing out, did you? Oh, it's frozen. Ha! I bet you couldn't pull it out either, could you? You've come to Dawnstar at a strange time. Frame. Yeah, yeah. Seems everyone in the town is having Yeah, I've heard. At least a night at the Wind Peak will give me some time to read this book. Steel bolt? Can't use that with a bow. Not many people use those things. I can't believe they haven't moved this guy. You moved the Imperials, but not your own? They got it. Come on. There you are. All right. Have them clean up their own mess. No one? Oh. <laughs> Evening. Hey, you again. Evening. Boy, it's nice in here. Hey, Thoring. You keep a beautiful place, man. How are you this evening? I'm sorry. Um, My mind was just somewhere else. No worries, man. Do you need a room? Drink? I, a room, actually. I'd like to rent the room again, if you don't mind, please. Are you joking? No. You just rented a room for me. So I can just go back? See ya. See ya? Huh. Uh, hello. That guy gives me the creeps. It's actually nice to be inside here. Maybe I won't mind renting rooms after all. They even remade the bed. Might be worth the ten septums. And that bar lady's playing some peaceful music. Maybe that's why I slept so well. Now let's see about... Conjuring wolves. Yeah. That doesn't sound so bad. I think I'll be able to do this. Old Golem. That guy has come in handy more times than... a lot. Time to get some sleep. It's been a long day. A long day.